Hey, Uriel Kane here, registered holistic nutritionist, author of the Diabetes Debacle, and professor of Super Nutrition Academy. Now, in this video, I want to talk to you about diabetes. You are here watching this video because you either have pre-diabetes or you have full-blown type 2 diabetes. And in this video, I want to educate you a little bit. I want to share some information with you that is being withheld from you from your doctor, which is pretty ironic because the actual the origin of the name doctor means teacher. And it's pretty ironic that not a lot of doctors take the time to teach their patients about what's happening inside their body. So that's what I want to do in this video. And really specifically, reveal the number one thing you need to know and understand about diabetes. And so we're gonna talk specifically about type two diabetes in this video. And this is something you can go back to your doctor and talk with after um, because you need to know this, okay? There's a big distinction between what people think about as being type two diabetes and what it really is. Okay, so let's start off by talking about the notion and just kind of ignore this, these, these little just scribblings and drawings behind me. Uh, we'll get into that in a second. But uh, the, the notion with type 2 diabetes is this. It's a blood sugar problem, right? So your body, uh, your blood has too high of a level of blood sugar and that causes all sorts of complications. So that's what most doctors will tell their patients uh, with respect to what type 2 diabetes is all about. Well, if you think about the other name for type 2 diabetes, it's non-insulin dependent diabetes mellitus, right? Which means that it's not uh, dependent on taking um, insulin injections, for instance. If you had type 1 diabetes, your pancreas doesn't produce insulin, and therefore you need to actually physically inject yourself with insulin for your cells to, uh, to be able to, to uptake glucose, okay? The problem with type 2 diabetes is it's not that um, you need insulin coming in. In fact, that's the last thing you need because the real issue with type 2 diabetes is that it is a insulin dependent problem, okay? The issue with type 2 diabetes is that insulin levels are too high and that is causing the problem. I'm gonna tell you about what, why, that, why that matters to you in just a second, but let's come over to the graph here if we shall. And I wanna, it makes some sense of this for you. Hopefully you can see this okay. Now, you may have seen something similar to this before. And what this represents is basically time and glucose and insulin levels. That's pretty much, you know, we have time on the x-axis, glucose and insulin levels on the y-axis, being the vertical here. And here's what happens, okay? So blue, we're gonna say that blue are your fasting or your, just your glucose, your blood sugar levels in your blood, right? So here's what happens. This would be your starting point. So let's just call this X, okay? For your blood sugar, whatever that might be, um, you know, whatever that level is for you or for a healthy individual. When you have something to eat, okay? So let's say you introduce food at this point here denoted by the dotted line. What happens is, let's say you have pasta, okay? I'm gonna use uh, some pretty, very clear examples here. Let's say you have white pasta and as we know, hopefully, refined pasta, refined carbohydrates are very quickly broken down into their basic units, which are glucose molecules, okay? Glucose molecules kind of build up and form starches. When we break them down, they turn into glucose very rapidly because there's no fiber or protein or fat to slow down the absorption of glucose from the gut into your bloodstream, okay? So what happens is we get a really quick rise in blood sugar levels. And your body knows that, well, having high levels of sugar in the blood is not a safe thing. In fact, having high levels of sugar in the blood, as you probably know, being type 2 diabetic, is very problematic. So what does your body do? Well, it's amazing. Your body's pancreas, which is a gland, kind of just sits around your, um, sits around your stomach, kind of in and around this area, it produces insulin. It also produces glucagon, which is the opposite of insulin. It also produces a lot of digestive enzymes and uh, bicarbonate, which are important for the digestive process. But that's another story. Anyways, so the insulin, um, so the pancreas says, hey, you know what? We cannot have high blood sugar levels. It's gonna kill us. So what the, uh, what the pancreas does is it secretes insulin, which is a hormone, as you know, into the blood. And what insulin does is insulin is like a chaperone. Right? It's like, a, you know, if you think back to your, your, uh, your high school prom and you were the sugar molecule, as in this example, you wanted to go to the prom. But for whatever reason, the prom supervisors, <laughs> we'll call them that, wouldn't allow you in 
unless you had an adult, a chaperone for instance, to say, hey, this is my daughter, this is my son, you know, he, can, he or she can come to the prom. Well, insulin is like the chaperone, okay? So if we look over here, this is my beautiful uh, artistic drawing of a cell. So this is your cell, you have trillions of cells in your body, and this is a happy face because it's a happy cell. And these little blue dots are the sugar molecules. The red triangles are represented by insulin. So that's, the, that's the hormone. And what insulin does is it takes these sugar molecules, kind of like a chaperone, holds its hand, takes it over to the cells, and when insulin binds to the cells, there's a, a number of different things that happen. One of them is that it stimulates a specific type of transporter called the GLUT4 transporter in your muscle cells, specifically in your liver, it's GLUT2. Don't worry about the specifics, it really doesn't matter. Anyways, um, so it stimulates these receptors or these transporters to come to the surface of the cell and allow glucose to come into the cell. Okay, that's what insulin does. It says, hey, this sugar is coming out of the blood, it's gonna go into the cell and we're gonna store it or use it for energy for later. That's what insulin is supposed to do. It's a anabolic, a buildup hormone. So when you eat, blood sugar levels rise. In order for the blood sugar levels to come back down to normal, insulin must be secreted and what that does is, as you'll see here, it kind of follows the flow, the ebb and flow of your blood sugar. Blood sugar goes up, insulin goes up. When insulin goes up, it takes the sugar out of the blood into the cells and therefore, blood sugar then falls. Does that make sense? Obviously this graph is not to scale, There's, you know, but whatever, it gives you an idea of how this works. So here's the problem with type 2 diabetes, okay? And this is the problem, this is, I want you to understand that type 2 diabetes is 100% lifestyle related. It is 100% reversible through very simple measures. So if you have it, obviously it's not a great thing to have, but believe me, you can reverse it. And I've worked with hundreds of personal clients and thousands of other clients around the world who've been able to completely reverse their diabetic states. And you can do the same, okay? So here's why this happens. So in type 2 diabetes, what ends up happening is that if, let's say, you eat a, a very high sugar diet, lots of refined carbohydrates, so we're talking about sugars, candy bars, pastries, all that, all that kind of garbage, um, refined carbohydrates, white bread, white pasta, things that are broken down very quickly and that will shoot up your blood sugar very, very quickly, um, what that's going to do is because anytime your blood sugar rises, insulin will follow. So if you do this over and over and over and over again, and this takes years, it doesn't happen overnight, what happens is that these cells, they start to recognize insulin as, oh, they're like, oh my God, this guy again? He, like, he's knocking on my door all the time. So the cells get a little, they get a little put off. They become desensitized to insulin. So they don't respond to insulin anymore. And that's why with type two diabetes, blood sugar levels remain high. Because what happens, if this is our normal, our normal pattern, what happens with, uh, with type two diabetes is, I'm just gonna erase that a little bit, is when you have a meal, your blood sugar increases, okay? And normally it should go down with insulin. But what ends up happening with type two diabetes is that uh, insulin levels go up, right? But the problem is that over time, they stay up. And I'm just gonna, you know, just a general trend down. Because, first of all, your cells are not responding to insulin, therefore your pancreas starts producing more because it says, okay, hey, hold on, uh, there's still high levels of blood sugar because, right, blood sugar levels are still high because the blood sugar can't go anywhere. The cells are not responding to the hormone which is responsible for bringing the sugar into the cells. So you have high levels of insulin and high levels of blood sugar. Now here's the dichotomy. In the medical community, when you're talking with your doctor, most, and again, I'm not saying all doctors are like this, but most doctors will simply tell you, okay, your blood sugar levels are too high, we need to put you on some medication or insulin therapy, something of that nature. What they don't tell you is how this all unfolds, how this works, and why you need to understand this is really important. What they're not telling you is the insulin issue. They're not telling you about insulin, okay? Because it's not the blood sugar that's the problem, it's the insulin that is the issue. If you understand that high levels of insulin are the cause of high levels of blood sugar, it's actually a chicken and egg question, then you'll understand how this can kind of start to be reversed. Too much insulin in the blood over time 
desensitizes the cells to insulin itself. It's like having a coffee, okay? If you've never had a coffee before or caffeine, the first cup you have will get you all jittery and you'll get that caffeine kick. But if you've, if you've, uh, if you've, you know, if you've been a coffee drinker for, for a number of years, you'll know that if you drink one cup of coffee, it doesn't have the same effect as it did when you first started. And that's the exact same thing that's happened is that your cells, the caffeine receptors, have become desensitized to caffeine. So you need more caffeine to get the same initial effect. It's the same thing with any kind of drug. You need more drugs as you become dependent on the drug to get the initial effect. And that's what's happening here. So the body needs more insulin for whatever reason, right? Because the cells are not responding to insulin. So here's the big problem with a lot of medical approaches to dealing with type 2 diabetes. You have type 2 diabetes, they say, okay, your blood sugar levels are too high. So what do we need to do? Well, obviously, let's give you some insulin to bring your blood sugar levels down. Well, now we know that that doesn't really make much sense because your cells don't even respond to insulin in the first place. So if you injected yourself with more insulin, well, what's that going to do, right? Well, I'll tell you one thing it does. It actually shuts down your pancreas' own production of insulin, which is not a good thing. It's actually like bodybuilders who take testosterone. Um, they, not their gonads, uh, actually shrink in size because the, ex the, the kind of external source of testosterone is telling their body, hey, don't produce testosterone because we're already getting it in externally. Same thing's happening. If you take insulin therapy, you're telling your pancreas, don't produce insulin. So you're telling your body not to work as it should because you're taking it through an external source. So the problem with having too much insulin in the blood, okay, that's the real issue here. The problem with having too much insulin in the blood is first of all, your cells don't respond to it anymore. And that's obviously what's called hyperinsulinemia, hyper meaning too much insulin. And one of the big issues with that is that when that happens, it stimulates, it triggers a couple enzymes in your liver to start converting sugars, fructose specifically, into fat more readily. And we know that being overweight and obesity is heavily related to developing type 2 diabetes. Okay? We also know that having high levels of sugar in the blood is like literally pouring battery acid through your arteries. It's really bad stuff. And um, I'd love to share more with you on this topic. Uh, obviously, I don't want to, you know, take up too much of your day. I, I, you know, I obviously I respect your time and I appreciate the time you've taken to learn some of this information. Um, but if you enjoy this kind of stuff, I've prepared a report called the Diabetes Debacle. And it goes into greater detail about some of this stuff as well as about five other uh, commonly, uh, commonly prescribed treatments and procedures that doctors are prescribing to millions of patients around the world who have type 2 diabetes. And in this report, I'm going to reveal the truth about what these treatments are doing to your health. See, the reality, as I mentioned earlier, is that type 2 diabetes is a 100% completely reversible disease. Yes, it's obviously not fun to have, um, but it can be completely reversed through diet and exercise. Okay? In about 99.99% of the cases. I've worked with hundreds of personal clients and have and been able to achieve this with them. Uh, thousands of kind of virtual clients around the world who've been able to achieve the same results. And I want you to know that you can do it too. And I also want you to know that it's, you know, in, in part, it's not your fault. You know, you've been, we've all been brought up in a society where we are force-fed messages about fast food and convenience foods. Unfortunately, these very same foods are wreaking havoc inside your body. You're becoming dependent on foods that you're not even aware of. And that's because they're adding chemicals and additives and, and sugar-based substances into these foods, which is making you addicted to them. And it's a very, very sick thing that's happening in our food industry. And I want it to stop, at least for you. Because I, I mean, I don't necessarily know you personally, but I care about you. I care about your health. I'm on a mission to help 10 million people by 2018 completely live their healthiest and fittest life. And I want you to be one of them. So I believe education is a really important part in that journey, and that's why I wanted to take the time to teach you about insulin and blood sugar here. So if this has made sense for you, all you have to do is enter your, uh, your email somewhere on this page, to the right or below or somewhere to the right of, the, of this video, 
and I will instantly send you the diabetes debacle report absolutely free. It's awesome. I know you'll really find it interesting. And if you know anyone else who has type 2 diabetes, by all means, forward it to them because more people need to know about this, this, this solution and, and, and how simple it is. Um, in reality, I don't, obviously I don't want to sound condescending, but it really is a simple, once you commit to it, solution to overcoming and defeating diabetes once and for all. One out of every three Americans has type 2 diabetes. The annual healthcare cost, and these are numbers based on what the American Diabetes Association is sharing with us, is per person, $11,744 per individual with type 2 diabetes. Okay, imagine it's no wonder that the US is in shambles with the healthcare system and in debt with all this. Look at this, this is a huge burden on the healthcare system. But more importantly, it's a huge burden on you because if you're not covered by insurance and you're having to pay for treatments or, or, or pharmaceuticals or, or insulin injections, it adds up. And there's a much simpler solution that I'm going to share with you. And it all starts with the uh, diabetes debacle report. So uh, if you want to grab it, it's yours absolutely free. If you've enjoyed this, that's awesome. You can also click the Facebook like button above this video. And again, just spread the word. More people need to know about this information. And um, I'm here to help you. Again, Uriel came here. And I look forward to seeing you on the healthier side. Grab your report by just entering your email to the right or below or somewhere of this video. And I'll see you, uh, I'll see you then.